Hello, in this quick tip, I'm going to show how we can get past a common joint error message. In this example, we have a four bar linkage that's almost complete. All that is left to do is to add the last revolute joint. Using the joint command, we'll make sure that the motion type is set to revolute, and then I can select the two edges that define the revolute axis. However, notice when I do that, I get a warning saying that the selected joint type would result in a conflict. And if I were to say OK, it creates errors on all of the joints. However, I need this joint to revolve. So why is this not working? Fusion is trying to connect this edge and this edge together but they must not be coplanar with each other. The revolute joint requires that the two edges are coplanar. This proves to me that they must be off by a small amount. So, I need the joint to revolve and also to slide. That way, it can slide over into the correct location. Let's use the joint type called cylindrical. This opens up two degrees of freedom, the revolute and the slider. I'll select those same two edges, and this time you'll notice that the part moves into place and we don't get the error message. The four joints are now created. However, the assembly looks kind of interesting. All I have to do is rotate these parts into location and now we can see that the four bar linkage is working as expected. Let's investigate why the revolute joint didn't work and why the cylindrical joint did work. We can do this by creating a section analysis. As we section into the design and we zoom up, we can see that there is a gap between these two edges. Fusion was trying to connect those together with the revolute joint, but it couldn't because of the revolute joint above it that was already created. We can confirm this by using the measure command. By selecting the two planar faces, we can see that they are off by 0.001. This is why the joint was failing. We were able to get around it by using the cylindrical joint type. However, the best thing to do here would be to fix the 3D model so the faces are coplanar with each other.